this is the Baron back again, bringing you some ideas I got from you guys from Battlefield, from you Battlefielders who commented on my videos from the past from Battlefield Portal and stuff like that. Uh, now, before I start, I just want to say you guys have been awesome with all your feedback you've been uh, giving me. Uh, the ideas that have been commentated really show imagination, differentiation, and practicality in Battlefield 4. Of course, I also see the impractical, but sometimes the most strange ideas work perfectly. Uh, so that's me done thanking you guys. Let's jump into some ideas I ran into while reading your comments that would seem they would fit perfectly in Battlefield 4. Now these can range from anything from game modes, evolution concepts to simple small stuff that would make the game better. Now the first idea was from Terraria Spy, and this is one of my ideas is that they could make a map similar to Metro in Battlefield 3, but this time making it an underwater tunnel so they have so that it can have sections of it flooded if the ceiling gets uh, worn down, uh, forcing you to take alternate routes. Uh, this would be great for those linear maps like Metro and Operation Locker, as I j as I just said. It can offer players multiple flanking routes with ease. However, it gives the player the chance of damage or death. So if you do, if you guys don't know, if you stay underwater too long, you will start taking damage and start losing health. So it gives that kind of danger factor. Uh, the flood could occur in lower levels, open up the floor to reveal the lower walkways or sewers, and they are flooded, so the player must swim underwater to get to the other side. If you linger too long, as I said, underwater, you will die. So all it is, it's a route that you have to use if absolutely necessary. Flooding in the walls and the ceiling that could be let loose by shooting can cause enemy players nearby to be pushed out, so that water force being pushing out enemy players, it could also damage them and disorientate them for the team's advantage. Uh, this idea is great because it gives the game a better use for swimming underwater. I always found the underwater feature like... A feature needed, but not really needed at the same time, if you get me. So this idea can bring out a better use of the underwater feature. The next idea is from Who Pam. Hopefully I didn't butcher that name, sorry. Uh, they, they should put an escort mission where uh, one group protects a moving target through a course of the commander. And it just ends like that, I don't know why. So I guess I know what you're kind of saying, but I'll try and elaborate more on it. I love this idea for a new game mode. Obviously, uh, it's made for one of the DLCs, not for the vanilla games. We've already seen vanilla game modes. If you haven't seen that already, go over to the Battlefield blog and check that out. Of course, I just as I just said, the comment really doesn't go into major detail. The idea is simple. Have maybe a player as an escort chosen randomly or a vehicle that must be protected that must be defended as it makes its way through certain points on the map and finally finishing to score, to score points and to win. Uh, pretty self-explanatory stuff. Now, I, now, what we got me really interested about this idea was the inclusion of commanders. Having the defending commander choose a path that lets the convoy, well, let's say it's called a convoy, that to me really gets the commander integrated into more of the action. Now, the course outlines could be objectives like the like uh, conquest, where you got your flags over there, and the commander has to choose the which flags to go to first and which ones to leave for later. Given that sort of strategy, the more points you get to, the more your team would score. And if you get to the very end, you would win the game. It's just sort of like Rush where you can get all the MCOMs up to the last set of MCOMs and then don't get that. You can still lose, but you can still score big. Uh, spawning would be a tricky thing to implement. Uh, maybe we could have the defending team spawn in or near the convoy. Maybe we could have defending team spawn in or near the convoy. And then the attacking team spawn on each objective. And the closer the defending team gets to an objective, the harder it is for them to capture it or to make it, make it through the course. So it gives that game mode like some sort of balance, some sort of fun, some sort of like power struggle, I guess. I don't know, it's this something we can really uh, uh, see working well within the Battlefield uh, universe. I've missed out on a lot of aspects for this game mode, but I'll leave it up to you guys to decide better specifics. Next idea is from Scott S. Uh, here's an idea, the two side bases are on ships and must use boats, transports, helicopters to fight their way to the other ship while at the same time keeping the team off theirs and then once the ship, uh, once on the ship they must fight their way to the reactor, arm a charge and then defend it for a certain amount of time until it blows. There are four spawns, uh, two deployments, far end of the reactor room, two on the boat access decks of the ships that are like flags from uh, conquest and can be taken and taken back. Uh, this idea was very specific and I love it. Uh, the game mode here is similar to Rush, sort of having the whole ship, including the interior, uh, to a defend or attack. It creates that dif uh, different variation of Rush, whereas instead of fighting off in open areas, this is closed and tight quarter gameplay within the ship, obviously. Uh, once the charges have been set on both reactors, 
or one reactor really, uh, the ship blows up or sinks and the team wins. The best I can uh, comparison this to is sort of like a rush capture the flag type game mode where you must attack the enemy's reactors uh, while defending your own. And just having that little story behind it of infantry based take uh, battleship takedowns really makes it that much more interesting. So a good idea this one as well. This one, the final, this, this final idea by the LPR network. Helmets, a helmet cam option, uh, really see through the eyes of a soldier if they're wearing things on their dead face. Now, <laughs> I thought this idea was pretty out there. Well, I thought it was anyways. The comment doesn't really go into it. This comment does, doesn't anyways, but I'd try to talk to him and try to figure out like what he's talking about. And he did make a good case about it, so I put it on my list. I'll try to explain it to you like better right now. Now, all this thing is is a feature that can really bring immersion into the gameplay. So as we all know, the engineers are the only ones that have gas masks on. If uh, to my to the best of my knowledge, I'm pretty sure. Oh, the Russian one, anyone uh, does, anyways. From a gameplay perspective, in first person, you cannot actually see any signs that the engineer is wearing a gas mask. There's like no glass. There's no. Uh, glimmer of the of the glass of the gas mask but this idea really bases around the visuals of being able to see you are actually wearing one so what would happen is i'll get back to the idea so what would happen is if you get shot in the head and die and then get revived that it would actually show like maybe bullet holes in your helmet uh in your gas mask or maybe like cracks on the screen like it'll be damaged so and that's all that's really is to it and a uh, feature that would create immersion and a sense of realism uh, even though this uh, wouldn't make sense if you get shot in the head and get revived it wouldn't make sense at all there is also a concern for affecting gameplay it would be pretty unfair if there was a 1v1 situation uh, both had gas masks and one player had uh, a broken mask and the other didn't so who's gonna win the obviously the guy without the broken gas mask unless <laughs> unless the player is like genius but anyway this is an idea that can be built on so tell me in the comments below so that's all the good ones i came across again if you have any ideas of your own or anything battlefield let me know in the comments below a like and a subscribe couldn't hurt either <laughs> thanks again to the community for your inspiration uh, and your imagination, your ideas are awesome. I seriously can't wait for about, uh, for the beta and the final release to, uh, to come about. I think it's only like, uh, two or three days or something. So I'll be posting, um, live unaltered commentary from my beta experience on my channel. So stay tuned for that. Again, guys, thanks, and I will see you soon.